Hi there, so these are my little seedlings that I've germinated from seeds collected around my local area. There's a few different types here, I don't know the actual species yet because I have just been collecting them randomly from different trees. I'm pretty sure that these are some sort of tea tree variety. These are obviously eucalyptus and these are I think a eucalyptus as well. I've put the pods there so that I can sort of have some sort of reference for the type of seed that it is. Um, this is at maybe like a month into germination. There was more in here. There was probably about this much in these two, but they've died back to a f only a few survivors. But that's a good thing because the, the first time I'm planting these, I'm realizing I've planted a lot of seeds in each container and I've spread it too evenly instead of in the center so I have way too many for one pot because these are like quite like tall pots you can't really see but they they go in the tray and yeah so I can only fit probably one plant per for these but um this is my first try so I reckon I'll do some more updates later and uh, let you know how they they're going and Maybe I'll have some species names for you when I <laughs> return. But um, have a look at these. These are really cool. So these are definitely eucalyptus by the by the seedlings. You can tell uh, they've got these little like two pronged leaves. That one's really cool. It's got three three leaves coming up, and then some little baby. They've got their second set coming through, which is exciting, and they will definitely look more eucalyptus-like, um, like the actual leaves. So that's exciting. Yeah, this one's looking pretty, pretty strong. And um, I think these might be grevilleas. Um, I'm pretty sure I got some from a grevillea tree on my street. We have a lot of street trees, so they're starting to plant natives around the area, which is really great, but I wanna, I wanna <laughs> help out a little bit more with my own propagation of trees so that you know you can help the local ecosystem. I'm really hoping that I can at some point get some swamp mahogany seeds which is eucalyptus robusta um, and they are going to be good for habitat for a certain type of parrot which is endangered so stay tuned for that. So I have a bunch of seeds that I've got in paper brown bags that are um, basically helping them uh, shake the seeds out. If you can see there's like little little seeds coming out. These seed pods are now emptied out which is great. There's a little few seeds still left in if you can't really see but they're all down the bottom um, and they'll collect. See there's one with seeds in it. Yeah so if you shake the bag up If we look inside here, we can see there's a lot more seeds there, which is good news. But yeah, pretty much as soon as the, the seeds come out, you can plant them into just, just on top of some potting mix with this light coating of uh, soil or any sort of granular substance. These are a really cool variety, um, a Western Australian species, I believe, that my friend has so kindly gifted to me. And look at those seeds, they're, they're much bigger, which is exciting. I'll have to experiment with planting those. Have a look inside. You can really see how it's working, all the seeds inside there. I wonder how many are in there. I almost forgot, I've got these little casuarina she oak uh, seeds that I'm actually really keen to plant. The seedling looks like it, the one of the first leaves is like one single singular needle, like um, the needle leaves, which is so cute. And I really am excited to grow these because I love casuarinas. I love the sound they make in the, in the wind and also how great they are at, yeah, holding the soil together for, you know, estuarian kind of environments anyways. So I, on a whim, I've decided to actually plant these today. Um, I'm just going to be using a bit of this uh, premium potting mix, which is 
okay for natives, but also a bit mixing it with um, some of just the local soil that is around here, which is more sandy in nature, which would be good for, I guess, yeah, casuarina. And also just because, you know, you want to assimilate it to the environment. If it's going to be planted outside, may as well get it started early on the, the same soil. Disclaimer, um, I'm no in, uh, expert on any of this. I am experimenting and basically I'm just a plant enthusiast that's bringing you along for the ride for my planting adventures and the beginning of my, yeah, propagation journey of uh, natives. Just wanted to get that out of the way so that if anyone was confused as to what I'm doing, if I'm doing the wrong thing, please feel free to let me know and give me tips because I would love any advice. Um, I'm always glad to hear from experts. Thanks. So the pots I am using are these just regular ceiling planting pots. It's good to have ones that are a bit taller so you can just keep it in there for longer. Because this soil is sandy, well, mixed with sand, the drainage is gonna be a bit slow, which is good for the seedlings to stay moist. So if I spray this here, that water is gonna take a long time to go down and it rests on the top a lot easier, which is great for seedlings, especially ones that need to stay moist in their first couple weeks or so. So I'm just spraying these all down a little bit first before I add the seeds so that the soil is already settled and it's yeah perfect environment for them to germinate. But also on the potting mix it doesn't need to be anything fancy. I just had that premium potting mix laying around from other projects. So don't fret about that. You can try anything and see what happens. It's most likely something will germinate. So I'm gonna just make tiny little divots in the middle. This time <laughs> uh, I'm realizing that you need to plant them in the center because that's where it's gonna grow out of and that's where the roots will be happiest and have more room to, to expand while they're in these pots. So these are what the seeds look like for anyone wanting a closer view. They're pretty interesting. They look like leaves almost. But yeah, so I'm gonna put probably like uh, maybe a few in each pot. We'll see. So I've put probably around 10 or so, not not really counting, um, in each. Uh, so they will have a hopefully good chance of coming out with at least one. One seedling that trumps them all. <laughs> so I'm using this spray bottle because it's not so disruptive of the of the soil. It doesn't unsettle it too much. I use this to water my seedlings inside as well. And these are going to be inside also near a sunny window. You want to have plenty of sun because especially in winter, that's when you need sun the most, especially for seedlings. Um, but it's harder to come by. So get a nice uh, window that faces the, the winter sun. If you are going to have them inside, but of course if you have them outside, beware the birds. Because <laughs> they love seeds and they love to disrupt plants, especially these little magpies that I have in my backyard. So yeah, give them a good soaking. Make sure that they're fully drenched. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cover these guys in a little bit of tiny 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 bit of uh, soil not too much you want them to be able to break through like you can pretty much still see them not too much with my eucalyptus ones I didn't even put anything on top but yeah that's that's the that's it here they are um, I'll give you an update maybe <laughs> one day we'll see so yeah thank you for getting this far and for watching and um Feel free to interact in the comments and give me any suggestions or just talk about plants because that's what I love. And um, yeah, I'd love to hear from you. Um, thanks again. Have a great, great rest of your day.